No, we should understand this mind lives and works in five subjective states and five objective states. What are the five subjective states according to a commentator, Vyasa? It is wandering mind. It is forgetfulness mind. It is obsessed mind. It is one-pointed mind. And it is totally empty mind. And on the other side, you have five objective states. It's a right perception, wrong perception, uh, imagination or fancies, sleep, and the memory. So five objective states and five subjective states. Now think of it. The mind is totally empty. It is like a mirror. Now it is like a mirror and there is a right perception. So you have a clarity of that event. Whether that event is a challenge to your relationship, your personal life, your professional life and social life you are able to perceive it clearly. So there is a right knowledge. So there is a right desire and a right action. You live in peace and happiness. <clears throat> now, if the wandering mind is perceiving the same event, even, even if the event is right, so what is going to happen? The mind is obsessed with something. And that obsession continues even if the event is right, even if the condition is conducive. So the per very perception of the mind gets distorted and that is known as the impurities of the mind, the entire journey of yoga. And if we take the path of the knowledge, it says the mind is full of impurities. And what are those impurities? The desire, the greed, and the anger, and the egoism, and the strong likes and dislikes, and the jealousy and the hatred, from where it comes. So that is why we say, Yoga shtyatta vratti nirodha. Yoga is emptying the contents of its mind. 